Okay, on this Nautic Star 251 Hybrid, we started back here in the rear. Um, we've done this boat previously, and you guys did a really good job. But it goes, it tucks up in here like an inch or so, up underneath here. But we went from the centerpiece over to the starboard side. And the texture goes up underneath this rail a little bit right here. I know on the last time we had some revisions around these. We came up, went across the front of the helm. If we can, the if you notice in the pictures, like right here, it's kind of tapered on the both sides. Is there a way that we can make that as square as we can across the front? Last time we went off the texture and it left a big gap right here. And it was almost touching here. So if we can make that look the same all the way across, we had our way up to the bow. Um, also, he has the table mount that's going to go in here. So if we can, if we can look back to the other uh, 251 hybrid that we did, can we add that table mount in the exact same spot? And we'll add the table mount after we put the floor in. But if we can make it the same size in the exact same spot, we came up right here on this piece. Then on top of these lockers right here. Made our way to the bow. Let's do this exactly the same way as we did the other boat. We put material here. We filled it in here. Um, we're gonna need to put a piece over the cap here. That's where his trolling motor goes. I put the tape. And you might be able to see there's a this is where his trolling motor actually sits down on top and then it pins here and there. So we need the material at least an eighth of an inch to quarter inch away from this rust stain right here. I put some tape down to where the where the actual trolling motor sits. So if we can go about an eighth to a quarter away from that, that way it gives us room. And then here's his uh, up down buttons for his windlass. We need to cut out for those. And this is the we need to cut out for around this that holds this trolling motor up. And then we came down of the the locker door again. And from there we went from this side back. Same thing, we came back up in here, over. And this texture goes like to the back side of this. We need to notch out for that. And then we did the port side top rail. Or the starboard side, sorry. Starboard side, then port side. But I want to note again, if we can uh, make this as, to the wall, make this as, as symmetrical as we can, because you can see right here, there's a big gap. And over here, there's not as big of a gap. And if you put it in there, it's it gives me a big gap here, and it just looks crooked. And you stick it in there, it was like this on the exact on the other one we did. And then again underneath that lip, which you guys could probably make it the same size you did the other one. She did really good on that one. It goes up underneath there. <laughs> 